And now we're talking with Kim Lindstrom, a regular here on Spotlight and Southline from Blessings in a Backpack. Welcome, Kim. Thank you for having us again. Now, I know you've been here the past couple of times, but I'm sure there's lots that you've accomplished in this past year. So let's start there. Talk a little bit about your accomplishments over this past year. Well, 2018 has been a stellar year for Blessings in a Backpack. The community support has just amazed us. Terrific. We've had quite a few fundraising events. Um, our large golf outing that we always hold at Tanglewood in mm -hmm. June was an amazing success. Excellent. Filled up all the spots, wonderful sponsorship. And the weather was good for it? It was amazing. Excellent. Beautiful day. Um, then we had Fury for a Feast mm, that's hosted yes. by our amaz amazing Witches Hat Brewery. That's right. Um, Aaron and Ryan, they're amazing human beings and we're so grateful to them. It was extremely successful as well. Um, we also had a family friendly event, um, a Harry Potter trivia oh, event cool. at the South Lion Hotel, which the kids loved. That was in October. That again was super successful. Um, we just had our Huffin for the Stuffin, mm -hmm. which is a 5K that was held at Mayberry State Park, and that was sponsored by Wildly Fit. Okay. Amy and Christian Wilds, who are friends of all of ours, and um, South Lion residents, they're amazing, great people. Um, it was an amazing event. It, um, we doubled the amount of people that participated this year. Wow, so excellent. it turned out great. Even though the temperatures were frigid, <laughs> it was very, very cold. But well, as Ron and myself, I sometimes know running, yes. you like appreciate the cooler temperatures it, versus being too hot. It was really fun. And I don't know if you follow our social media pages, but um, we had um, gym teachers and people in turkey suits running. So excellent. it was really Lots fun. Of fun. Very, no, very I know fun. it's not always just about the fun and the events and so forth, but there's a great cause behind it and what do blessings in a backpack yes. what do you actually do talk a little bit about that blessings in a backpack started four years ago we realized there was a need in south lion um, children were food insecure on the weekends mm -hmm. they didn't have meals and they would get fed at the schools breakfast and lunch um, we wanted to bridge that gap and fill that need sure. we started small at, we had a pilot program at bartlett elementary mm -hmm. which we we're very excited about and we were able that year to add two more elementary schools. Excellent. So since then, we are in all of the elementary schools, including the new one, wow. Pearson. So that's eight elementary schools, both middle schools, Centennial and Millennium, both high schools. And we also are able to help the children at the ECC. So we're wow. really excited. And it's exciting when you finally met your goal. Sure. You know? Um, but for us, it's an ongoing goal. Exactly. You know, ultimately, we would like to not see hungry children in this community. But circumstances change. You know, there might always be that need, and we are going to continue to do everything we can to help those children in the future. Sure. So we're here to stay. Excellent. We're going to continue our fundraising events. Now, what do you have coming up? And I know there's not a lot going on over the winter time, not, but what do you have upcoming next um, to talk to well, us about today? Right after the holidays, we're going to segue into promoting our annual golf outing, okay. which will be Saturday, June 2nd at Tanglewood once again. Excellent. So we'll be gearing up to do early registration for groups and individuals and also find sponsorships. So really excited about that. It's always a great day. Lots of fun. It gets better every year. Perfect. And if people want to find out more information about Blessings yes. in the Backpack, they, how would they do they that? They can go to our Facebook page, okay. which is at BIAB South Lion. Or if you have specific questions or ways you would like to help or possibly volunteer, we do have a volunteer list that goes out for different things, um, such as food unloading or food packing. Sometimes we have groups that do that. Um, we can be reached at BIABSouthLion at gmail.com. Perfect. Excellent. Well, anything else you want to share with us tonight? No. Uh, just happy holidays to everyone. And again, thanks to our amazing community for always being there for us and feeding these kids. Well, thank you, Kim. Thanks for coming out tonight. Thank you.